temperatures here in the mid-Atlantic, that's for sure. And we had some gusty winds yesterday. It made it feel so cold, especially during those afternoon hours. And our air temperatures actually were below average for sure. We only topped out at 39 at Reagan, 38 for Dallas and BWI. Average this time of year went from 43 to now 44 degrees. I still think we're going to be below average for today. We'll have clouds building in through the afternoon and evening. It's just going to be another chilly but dry day. Then we looked at Monday after Afternoon, and we're tracking our first round of some wintry weather around here that will linger into Tuesday morning. Get a break on Wednesday, and then it looks like that rain snow mix is possible once again Wednesday night into Thursday. So, a lot going on here uh, for this week. You just want to stay tuned because we'll be looking at these uh, snow chances and we'll see if they increase or not throughout the week. But right now, we're looking at cold temperatures. It's some low to mid 20s across the area. Then you look to the north and west, and you're seeing teens this morning, and that's not even factoring in a little bit of a light breeze that we have going on. Not as gusty as yesterday. Yesterday it was 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, at this time, maybe close to about 10 miles per hour for, for places like D.C. and Quantico. Other than that, just some calm to light winds. And that's what we'll have for today. We still have high pressure in play. It's still going to be on the dry side. You might notice maybe a few flurries throughout the afternoon. Nothing expected to accumulate. Uh, but where you do see all of that action out there into the plains pushing into the Midwest now, that will be heading in our direction and we'll be experiencing some of that frozen and precip possibly tomorrow afternoon and then into those evening hours. So keep that in mind. Today, it's just going to be another chilly day. Clouds will build throughout the afternoon hours and uh, temperatures maybe in the more metro areas. We could get into the lower 40s. Other than that, I think a lot of us will just top out with some numbers in the mid-30s, like Hagerstown. You could top out around 35, Martinsburg 36, Winchester 35. So it's chilly, turning cloudy, but the clouds will help us for tonight to keep whatever heat we do have for this afternoon right here on the surface kind of acting as a blanket. So uh, we had mostly clear skies this morning. That's why our temperatures fell to those 20s and teens. Tomorrow morning, it will be in the 30s and 20s for us. But we have a lot to watch here, some winter alerts. We have a winter storm watch for areas to the west of us around I-81, I-66. This is where uh, we could see some decent icing going on, along with that, some sleet and snow. So a lot of action there for the commute home tomorrow. This is the setup. We have low pressure that is marching its way closer to the region and uh, providing a slight snow chance, but more so at this time, it's looking more like an icing event. So on your way to work, tomorrow and for lunch if you're heading out. Things are going to be fine, but it's more around 3, 4, 5 o'clock that we start to see those steady showers work their way into the D.C. area. You look along I-66 if you're heading west or along I-81, all of that pink, that could be some sleet or freezing rain. And the thing is, look at this prolonged period of time that this goes on for uh, throughout portions of western Maryland. That's where you could see some of that decent icing. I think south and east of uh, 95 and south of D.C., that's just going to be rain for us, but it's the icing that has me concerned. So I just wanted to show you the ice forecast. Looking like south of Allegheny County, you could come close to maybe half an inch of ice. Winchester, uh, that's a decent amount. So take it easy. Travel could be treacherous for sure. Just a quick look at the snow map. Not tracking much, if anything. Maybe a couple of inches for Cumberland, and that's about it. Quick look at the America model for Wednesday to Thursday setup. If this low stays to the south of us, you saw that blue there. We could get in on some snow action. So a lot of us will be watching closely that system on Thursday. Then you look to Friday. It's just sunny and windy, and temperatures will be below average. All right, this is a great time to download the Fox 5 